I I already are. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on, you know where to go. Okay, Rayfita. Here's your treat. Orion, here's your treat. Luna. Uh, where's Luna? Uh, Luna! Luna! Luna doesn't seem to want her treat. Sheepies! Junior! Junior boy! Come here, Junior! Come here! Howdy there, Junior! Howdy, Junior! Junior is here. Junior is the only one of the sheep that likes to be touched. The other two, not so much. They're more skittish than he is. But Junior, he, he likes to be touched. He likes the pampering. Okay, Junior. Oh, look at, <laughs> look at Junior going to the camera. <laughs> Junior, Junior wants attention. <laughs> hey, Junior. So there's a very interesting thing that you see on YouTube with channels of people that are taking care of sheep. And that's that they usually have a bucket like this. And that bucket will have some alfalfa pellets in them. And the sheep particularly like the alfalfa pellets, so they use that to bucket train the sheep to follow them. Because it's very important. Sheep are very skittish. They don't like surprises and, they, and what have you. So, you have to be able to get them to follow you, but a lot of times it's very difficult to get them to follow you. And so people will use this bucket system, but we can't really do that here. And that's because there's no alfalfa pellets here. We don't, you can't get them, I try. So we use a, a little mix of some ground up vegetables, carrots and other stuff like that here. It's a little sweet and they kind of like that. And we, we give them a cup every morning. But it doesn't really attract them. You can see they're not running over here to the bucket to get it. So it's not a, a big attractant. Hi, Sammy. This is Sammy. And that's Kathy. Kathy is pregnant. And uh, she's about ready, probably within, a, within the next month, she's gonna give Give birth. So anyway, I've developed a system to, to get the sheep to follow me. And it works really well, and it is based upon repetition. Sheep and other animals like repetition. For example, if, if you look at drone footage of, of farms, you can see where the cows and the animals go. They always follow the same path. So they like repetition. It, it makes them feel safe. Well, you know, Junior is just uh, loves the camera. I guess he just <laughs> he wants to be the he wants to be the center of attention. So I took advantage of the fact that the animals in general like repetition, but the sheep like it a lot. And I developed a way to get them to get them to follow me. So I'm going to show that to you now. Left, right, left, right, left, 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 right, left, left, right, left, 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 right, left, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left. 
left, right, and left, right, and left, 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 right, and left, right, and left, right, and left, left, right, and left. <laughs> well, they they don't like to stay in formation. So I got this idea from another YouTube channel. Morgan Gold at Goldshaw Farm has ducks. And Morgan has this saying, he says, all ducks go to bed when he wants the ducks to go back into the duck house. And they, and he shouts it, and the, it's really quite amazing to see the, the ducks all follow him back in, like go, go into the duck house. All ducks go to bed. All ducks go to bed. All ducks go to bed. Great job, guys. Well, it turns out that Morgan learned this from another YouTuber called Jack Spearco, who also did this with ducks. I'll just go, all ducks go to bed. They line up, they go straight in. What? Right, yeah. So, I mean, from anywhere on the property, I can I can lean out the door when they're back here, out the back door, and yell that to them like, like 30 minutes early, and they'll all go to bed. That way we can shut things down. How did you train them to do that? Uh, well, you make them want to go where you want where they want to go, right? So your first group is the part you have to actually train. Once you have a core group of birds that already know the routine, when you bring new birds in, they just follow along. So I'm kind of the granddaughter in this of Jack Spearco, even though I'm I know I'm older than Jack Spearco. <laughs> it doesn't matter, but but I'm kind of the granddaughter in this whole thing because. The idea first came, and maybe Jack got it from somebody else too, but the idea first came from him, pass it on to Morgan Gold, and then pass it on to me. And I came up with this idea of using a march, like, like the military uses a march to get the sheep to move. And of course, now they're eating their little treat, and it's only one cup of, uh, of little sweet, uh, sweet stuff that they like but it's not it's not enough to get them to move like the alfalfa pellets are uh, the people in the US that use those so I developed this it works really well and I thought I'd share it so with that I'll see you in the next video okay left right up left right up left 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 Left, 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 right, left, right, left, 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 right, left, right, left, 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 right, left, 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 right, left.